Okay, you should have um, already defined the terms that you see there and then the task that you see with the second bullet. So now I'm going to explain how you use a uh, price index to calculate inflation. So we're going to go through, first of all, what is called just a, a simple price index. And then we'll go into what's called a weighted price index, which is more accurate to how it's done in the real world. Okay. So the basic idea is this, that you have a basket of goods. And in this case, we have just three goods, as you can see, juice, sweaters, and haircuts. So starting in a base year, and again, the base year just simply means it's going to be um, our starting point. Let's say juice is going to cost, uh, oh, I don't know, three euro. Okay. Maybe a sweater is going to be 25 euro. And maybe a haircut's going to be 15 euro. Obviously, that's a men's haircut, not a women's. I have no idea what that might be. Anyhow. Okay, so we add those together and we get 25, 15, 40, 43. So the total price of basket of goods here is 43 euro, and that's it. There's not going to be an inflation rate here because it's our base year, so uh, we can't show any change because it's just one year. Okay, the following year, um, we're going to see prices go up. So we're going to go to 4 and uh, 27 and 16, something like that. So now when we add those three together, we get uh, 47. And now we can use um, our index to calculate what the inflation rate was. Okay, so this is our formula down here. X, one number divided by another number div uh, times 100. And remember, 100 is our starting point, which means to show inflation, we need to show a number that's greater than 100. Okay? So, if that's true, it's easy to see that we want to be 47 over 43 times 100. Okay, that's going to produce a number of greater than 1, and then times 100 greater than, a, uh, greater than 100. Okay, and this is one of those times where you can use a calculator, so I get 2, 2, so 47 divided by 43 equals 1.093. You can just round to 1.09. Um, no, I'm sorry, you do need to be 1.093 there. So we've got 1.093 times 100 equals 109.3. So our rate of inflation there is really easy to calculate. That's why we use 100 as a starting point. It's going to be new minus old over old. But in this case, because it's uh, over 100, 109.3 minus 100 over 100 is going to work out to 9.3 over 100 equals 9.3%. But again, what's easy about that is, of course, because it is an index number, you can just take the last two digits there, and that's all that's going to matter. So going up here again, this is just 9.3%. Okay, so using the numbers that I filled in now, what I want you to do on your own is um, calculate the inflation rate for 2013. Okay, so go ahead and put this on pause. And uh, when you're done, hit play again, and we'll go through the answer. Okay, so the total price of the basket added up to 54. And when we go through the math, See, um, we're going to do 54 divided by 43. Um, that's going to come out to 1.256, and we're going to come out to 125.6, which means that the rate of inflation is 25.6. Now, if you had something different, it's probably because of this right here. And you need to remember that because we're going between 2011 and 2013, the base year doesn't change. Therefore, this 43 is always going to be the denominator in your formula. You could be asked to go from 2012 to 2013, in which case you would use these two numbers. But here, 25.6% 
is our correct answer.